Hey everyone, it's Be Divine and welcome to your Divine Miracles channel and the tarot mini forecast this week for the earth signs. And I do apologize for not being with you guys for the last couple of weeks, but I have been going through what I call a rewiring, which is just like a flu sort of thing happening. And I was really having trouble speaking. So I thought, just leave it and I'm here now. So hopefully the uh, throat is all cleared out now and we are good to go. Um, I am using the uh, Mythic Tarot, my very first uh, tarot deck. Since I was 15, I've had this deck, so it's pretty powerful. And I'm starting off with um, Capricorn, then uh, Taurus, then Virgo, and see what starts to come through. So I hope you guys are happy and well wherever you are. So starting off with Capricorn, here we go. Capricorn. Oh, you guys need a shuffle. Oh, this is nice. We just had this um, come out um, <laughs> with uh, Libra, I think it was. So the Ten of Cups or the Ten of Chalices. And for Capricorn, I'm seeing this as an emotional breakthrough time. Okay, so every time I look at this card, it means something a little bit different. Uh, although there is a little bit of a basis there in, you know, finding some sort of um, romance or partnership in your life. But here there is a sense of uh, balance. Um, there is a sense of new beginnings happening here. There is a sense of overcoming, you know, perhaps you've been overcoming a lot of different things um, in the past and sort of, um, you know, focusing on yourself in a different way. And this is saying that this has really been paying off for you. Okay. I also just get the feeling that there's some time uh, near the ocean that is needed. Maybe, you know, that's something that you've been planning on doing or, you know, been thinking about doing. But spending time near the ocean really helps you to recharge your batteries and, and ground yourself too. Um, I'm also seeing that there is a connection with spirit, that perhaps you've been getting a lot of spiritual activity lately. This has been happening for a lot of people, to be honest. Um, and you just need to make sure that you're always in balance with um, yourself and you're cleansing and clearing yourself as well um, as we go through these times. If you've been waiting on the right partnership, this may be uh, telling you that this is much more closer than you think it is. But it's also talking about trying not to look for something in the past. Because if it didn't work in the past, it's probably pretty much guaranteed that it's not going to work in the future either. And although some things may um, change, there's still going to be this um, feeling of the past sort of lingering around you, you know, so it's really important that you're careful. I feel that there's um, uh, also a um, <clears throat> coming together of um, understanding, maybe this is with um, parents, maybe this is with um, your own children, um, uh, you know, you and the ex-partner or you and your your partner, sort of having some kind of understanding um, and settlement within yourself too. Uh, this could also be the, the word settlement, there could be something that's happening in court um, where things are being settled but the big message here is peaceful and easy. So some, even though it's been a very turbulent time, you've come to a space of understanding, um, of peacefulness and also clarity. You've been receiving a lot of messages lately. And it's really important that you start listening to your instincts, listening to your intuition as you move forward. Um, and, you know, try not to uh, feel bad about decisions that you've had to make. make you know, stand firm in whatever it is that you've decided to do. And again, don't go backwards. That was also another um, big message here. But very much happy, happy times ahead. Feel that happiness within yourself as it's radiating out to other people and you're starting to attract the right people for you or maybe even the right person for you very, very quickly. So really really good message for Capricorn which is happy to start with and uh, for Taurus okay um, let me shuffle these okay 
and the card so we're getting the tens here for the earth sign which is pretty interesting and tens are you know things finishing off um, coming to completion all that kind of thing um, and it's also the 10 being um, 10 plus 0 equaling 1 so this is important for you to start getting things within yourself for you to start establishing things in your life and perhaps um, you know you've been relying on other people for a really long time um, or you know you've been able to rely on people for a really long time and this is about you just saying okay I really need to do these things for myself I need to lift myself in the new vibration that I want to have in my life um, without feeling like somebody else is going to give it to me or make it happen or uh, be there with me. This is all about you um, finding this independence too. Even though this card is about family and strength and inheritances and people coming together and all of this, I'm also just getting that the fact that you need to see this for yourself. You need to do things for yourself also. And if you're in a partnership, that that partnership is, is balanced um, and that you don't feel dependent on the other person too much. And they shouldn't be dependent on you either. Both of you should be independent, but working together for the um, bigger goals in your life too. This could be a message about children, families, um, maybe people that you know are having children or you're having a child, another child. Um, and But it's also a time where um, you feel very grounded in yourself or perhaps, you know, this is also a message to do this a little bit more. So sometimes we start a, a routine in our life and we start getting ourselves together um, spiritually and financially and all of these things and then we take it for granted and it starts fading away a little bit and then we start to panic and we go back into those things so try to keep a balance of your practices what you really want to have happen focusing on your visualizations and your meditations as well but focusing on finding that balance within and then if someone else is not balanced around you then that's their problem you know um, you may also be absorbing a lot from other people too so be careful of this uh, recharge your batteries um, expect a gift or um, some unexpected surprise might happen in the week uh, for you which will bring you a lot of happiness as well um, always to your own self be true and that is the biggest message that I'm getting uh, for Taurus listen to your inner self uh, you know be true to yourself and in, in you know in everything that you do um, try not to prove yourself to too many people just be you and own it and accept it and things will start to move a lot smoother in your life as well but a very good card um, for Taurus so we've had really good cards for Capricorn uh, sorry for the earth sign so far uh, and now going on to um, Virgo Okay, Virgo, that was quick. And the Five of Wands. Okay, so Virgo, going through a bit of a time uh, where you've been uh, releasing, uh, working things out. Maybe there's been some people who have been really nasty to you or attacking you all of a sudden. And some people are getting a lot of psychic attack lately and it usually happens whenever we're lifting spiritually, there'll be someone there that'll try to push us back down a level or two. So for Virgo, please don't let this happen. Be aware of the bigger picture around you. The things that you really want to do in your own life is really important. Um, things that you've been waiting to have happen for a long time, don't give up on those dreams, goals, plans for your future. Although you have <clears throat> some people who don't understand you, some people who you wish were by your side, some regrets that you feel that you've made, some things that you've believed to have started and not finished, and you've had all this stuff going on, be strong within yourself. Don't fight yourself as you move forward. So some people, for example, will say, oh, I'm doing really well, you know, this is awesome, but it's probably going to end, you know, or um, this is a really good relationship, but it's probably going to, you know, break down. Try not to say the but thing with the rest of the negativity at the end of it. So this is really an awesome relationship. This is a really amazing time in my life. Things are really shifting quickly in my life. None of that negative stuff in the background as well. 
Remember your self-talk is really important. And just lately you've been beating yourself up. Okay, so that's why I'm glad I'm making these messages today to um, help you guys get back on track. Don't beat yourself up anymore. You've got all the power of the universe flowing through you. Accept this. Accept yourself as, you know, being much more powerful than you give yourself credit for not in an egotistical way but being able to be strong and secure and uh, you know independent in what you want to do without having to worry about what everybody else is thinking doing being how they're acting what they might say all of those kinds of things keep saying positive things to yourself in a now time frame so it's not i wish i could have it's like i'm grateful for you know, these, these sort of things. Change it all around a little bit. Don't beat yourself up anymore. Things are shifting. Things are changing. Things are releasing. Go with the flow. That is a big message um, for Virgo. So uh, I hope, or oh, I can see the screen's a little bit funny. There we go. Um, I hope you guys all have an amazing week ahead. Um, my website is all up and running again. It was down for a bit there and I didn't even realize <laughs> there was things going on, you know, energetically, even for me, um, that trying to stop me from what I do, but it doesn't work, not for long. <laughs> so, um, you know, adjust your own energies, you know, focus on going with the flow, don't be hard on yourself and uh, look forward to the changes that are really quickly going to be on their way. And uh, I hope to hear from some of you guys really, really soon. But until then... It is goodbye for now. Bye.